Hello and welcome, I'm John Peters, Commercial Director for Hooper Enterprises Associates Limited, or Heal Planning, as we're better known. This video is a case study detailing a recent planning appeal in the London Borough of Hillingdon area for a proposal for a single storey rear extension that we undertook for a client. Before I start, I'd like to clarify that the client has given us full authority to use this information in this video. This case was started for us when we were contacted by our client after their recent application for a six metre rear extension had been refused by London Borough of Hillingdon Council and the decision notice had been issued to our client refusing their application. The refusal was issued on the 2nd of August and as a householder application, the appeal had 12 weeks from the decision notice to be submitted to the planning inspectorate. The client instructed us to proceed on the 18th of August. We always recommend leaving at least a whole clear month from instruction to appeal deadline in case additional investigations are needed, but the more time available, always the better. The refusal reasons given by London Borough of Hillingdon Council were by virtue of its size, scale, bulk depth and proximity to the boundary would be detrimental to the amenities of the adjoining occupier at number 18 by reason of the over dominance, overshadowing, visual intrusion, loss of light and loss of outlook. Therefore the proposal would be contrary to policies DMHB11 and DMHBD1 of the Hillingdon Local Plan Part 2 Development Management Policies. These refusal reasons can be considered harsh by many as there was only a six metre single storey rear extension that the client was looking for. But local planning officers like to emphasise the refusal reasons and we're used to dealing with these types of refusal reasons. Local authorities know from experience if they portray the refusal in the worst possible way then the chances of the case going to appeal is reduced. In fact, many people do not appeal and give up at that stage, but honestly, refusal reasons like these are perfectly normal and as shown here, can be overcome when applied with a robust, comprehensive and detailed argument. We at Hill Planning have a lot of experience dealing with refusal of extensions of this type in Hillingdon and London and England as a whole. For this appeal, we produced a 15-page detailed appeal statement working our way through the delegated officer's report, the decision notice, dismantling their objections and the reasons London Borough of Hillingdon Council used to refuse this application. Providing a comprehensive and robust argument, bringing national and local policies into play and detailing reasons as to why the findings were wrong and in fact this development was perfectly acceptable. Additionally, we completed a detailed amount of research to find very similar cases that the planning inspectorate had previously granted and we look to use these cases to support our argument as best possible. As this appeal was a householder appeal, the local authority, which in this case was the London Borough of Hillingdon, did not have the right to respond to our appeal statement. This case, like the vast majority of similar cases, was dealt with by way of written representation and as such, it is paramount that the argument is very comprehensive and robust, as there is no second chance to respond. The inspector visited the appeal site on the 25th of January and issued the appeal decision on the 15th of February 2022 in a two-page, very much the point report. The good news was that the appeal was upheld and the permission was granted. Our approach of producing appeal documents that go into great detail to work through the refusal reasons officer reports and policies in detail and to supply supporting cases where the inspectorate had granted similar appeals is invaluable. This gives the client their best chance of success. Admittedly, it does take longer to produce and increase costs slightly by going into that level of detail, but it is that de attention to detail that is absolutely paramount. As an organisation, Hill Planning is one of the leading appeals specialists with both dedicated in-house planning and legal teams whose job it is to win your case. Both these skill sets are invaluable to produce a robust, compelling case to gain a win. You won't find many organisations in our industry that have both these skill sets, a planning and a legal team, and it is most definitely a major reason why we have the success rate we do. Without appealing your planning refusal, you cannot gain the permission you would like. Your appeal will go to the planning inspectorate. 
They are a government-based organisation that is appointed by the Secretary of State to handle all types of planning appeals. Based out of Bristol and covering England and Wales, the Planning Inspectorate gives you a chance of success to gain that permission you're seeking and taking that decision process away from your local authority's planning officer. You'll find a host of videos about various types of planning appeals and the services we offer on our website. If you'd like a free no obligation consultation with myself or a member of our team, please contact us on 01743 369 911 or email appeals at planningappealsuk.com and give your appeal its best chance of success. Thank you for watching and we look forward to speaking with you soon.